I have so many people ask me, I want to start affiliate marketing, but I have no idea where to find products. So what I'm going to give you today are seven different sources of where you can find affiliate marketing products. There are so many out there, but these are seven that I will give you today and just start searching. That's what you do. Start making a list, start searching and see which ones are best for you. Now, these are all good products for beginners. You don't want to start with high ticket items and trying to make lots of money when people haven't even had the opportunity to get to know you or trust you or like you. You build a relationship and you can sell those kind of products after you start building a relationship through something like an email marketing system. These are good products to start with. These are lower, um, what we call lower uh, item affiliate products. All right, let's start with Amazon. Amazon is a great place to start. Amazon is very, very easy to sign up with. And typically the commission fees are about six to 9% somewhere in there. Um, some of them, they're usually in that, you know, one digit to two digit area. They're not real high, but the advantage of Amazon is you can find anything here. I mean, what, no matter what niche you're in, there are billions of products. And that's what I love about Amazon. Let me go ahead and show you how you can um, find your product. As you can see here, let's say you were into home and garden and you would go to the parent niche and then under home and garden, you can find all of these other products. So you can start to narrow down what you're selling. Maybe you just, you're selling um, items for people's home as opposed to the garden. So you're going to, you have bed and bath, you've got a kitchen and dining. So you can narrow that down and promote products like that. Now I know a lot of you may be into um, things like health and fitness, whatever, um, but those are there as well. Now, the next two I kind of have lumped together. Did you know that you can be an affiliate for retail stores? So Target has an affiliates program and Walmart has an affiliates program. Again, your commission fees aren't super high, but it, it gives you an opportunity to sell some things and get your you know, feet in the door and start learning how to promote items. And then you can upscale from there. But here, um, look up Target Affiliates or Walmart Affiliates. I've got them lumped together as two, as number two, um, because basically you can find most affiliate programs with most retail stores. And right here, these are some of the commissions that Target pays. So as you can see, it's roughly five to 8%, which is typical for these types of affiliate products. But I just wanted to give you an idea how it changes uh, depending on what the products are, how many you're selling and things like that. So they've got some different um, criteria in there for you to earn your commissions. Affiliate resource number three would be ClickBank. ClickBank is very popular for new affiliates and you just go into clickbank.com. When you get to their homepage, you can go under um, the marketplace, the different categories. So again, you can choose your parent niche and then within that you can find your specific niche. And as you can see, they have a lot of different types of products that you can sell. One of the things that I like about ClickBank is once you open up the product that you want to sell, you want to look at the gravity score and the higher the gravity score is the more popular the item is and in, in essence is probably easier to sell. You can sort by popularity, you can sort by um, average sales, you can sort by gravity. So it depends on what you're looking for, but you have all that the analytics in there that will help you find the best selling products. The next place that you can go to find affiliate products is Warrior Plus. Now, typically Warrior Plus sells digital products. So if you are also an affiliate marketer who wants to create your own digital products, you can also sign up and sell your digital products. You can become a vendor and you can also sign up as an affiliate and you can sell and earn a commission. Warrior Plus does offer analytics and lets you see the um, conversion rates and the dates that they're launched and different things like that. Typically when you're selling digital products, your commission rates are going to be higher. A lot of times they're going to be more than the 20 to 30% range. So those are actually a little bit more profitable for you when you're selling them. And now we have number five. Number five is share a sale and share a sale. Again, you can sort by your niche and then you can go inside and then find your baby niche. If you want to call that, you can target it down, but uh, definitely if you're into fashion or anything like that, there's sports products here, lots of different items that you can 
become an affiliate for. And again, your affiliate commissions are going to run as they do with most affiliate platforms is roughly in that five to 9% range. And the neat thing about share sale is they do, they do physical products and they also do digital products. So you can get a little bit of a flavor of both. Number six, you may not have heard of, but it's called Commission Junction. And the niche is pretty general. Again, it has physical and digital products. You can see an example over here to the right, the different types of categories. And they also, again, um, you've got a slew of different choices. So as you can see, if you're getting into affiliate marketing, there are tons of products out there. There's really, once you start looking, the problem's gonna be, what do I choose, not where can I find it? And I saved the best for last. This is Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y. And what they offer are low cost digital products. But even though maybe the quality isn't as high as maybe buying a $500 program, but I think these are great for helping people who are just starting their business. So you're starting out in affiliate marketing and maybe you're promoting digital products to help other people get started. And a lot of times people won't put out a lot of money in the beginning because they don't understand the value of those higher priced training programs, or maybe they're afraid to because they don't know the quality. But typically people aren't afraid to put out 20, 30 or $40 for training. Even if it's bad, they don't, they haven't lost too much. So not saying that they're bad, but I'm just saying people are, are less apt or more apt to put money out when it's a lower cost, especially when they're new. And they have a ton of digital products here. As you can see, it's development, business, office, productivity, design, marketing, photography. So a lot of this has to do to help people who are just starting out with a small business and the type of training that they might need. So that's it. Seven different places, Amazon Associates, you've got Target and Walmart, any retail stores, ClickBank, Warrior Plus, Share a Sale, Commission Junction, and Udemy. Pick one, get started, start your business. Before you leave, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video.